Let's get some work done today. Open up. You open up. Hit you one baby M. We should be closer than friends. Today is my first attempt at driving. I forgot about this stupid construction on my block. But we going to see if I can drive. Cause I have a doctor's appointment. Hello, hello, hello. So I had an appointment with my endocrinologist today. She took me off of all of my medication and she said, we'll check back in three months to see um, if I need to go back on any of it. But I know the Lord and I know I won't need to go back on any of it. And so I'm very excited about that. But what I'm even more excited about Oh, I want to do a dance in this parking lot, Lord Jesus, is that um, I weighed in today at 296, which means for the first time since 2016, I think, oh, Jesus, I'm under 300 pounds. My God, today, I, I have never been so proud of myself in my life. And it's only been two weeks both. And I know that um, I'm going to stall and things like that are going to happen. But to be under 300 pounds for the first time in like four years, I am elated, right? And we talked about some other stuff and we caught up. We talked about Halloween because, you know, that's my girl, Erica. Uh, <laughs> um, and I just am very... God be God in, and we don't deserve it, and he just be coming through, right? And so I'm just, I'm at a loss for words right now, <laughs> but don't happen often. So yeah, that was my update. We're 11 day, nope, 14, 15, 16, today is Wednesday. 16 days post-op, 296 from 322. Let's keep it going, baby. Hi. So I'm sitting here working. Um, it's Friday. I think that means it's the 22nd of October. And I am craving pizza like nobody's business. Um, I said I would wait until November or until I lose 30 pounds to eat pizza. Um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna stick to stick it out until November because in November it'll be a month. And so I'll see if that's a soft food that I can have because it is very greasy. So I'm going to do the little pat thing that I always make fun of people for and see if my body can tolerate it. I had tacos and that was fine. So I didn't put all the fixings on it because I was afraid. So I drained the meat and I heated up the tortilla and I ate it like that and it was fine. I know we also talked previously about how I'm not tolerating protein shakes. But I ate one of these yesterday. It's an Atkins honey almond Greek yogurt bar. And not sure what the little crisps are made out of. But they break down really well if you chew them. And so I didn't feel sick at all. And I was able to get it in 12 grams of protein. So I'm going to eat this again for breakfast. And try to keep my protein up. It also has 9 grams of fiber. And there's only 1 gram of sugar and 3 net carbs if that matters to you my two goals are water and protein I'm trying to stay hydrated so that i can stop being constipated and i'm trying to make sure i get in my protein in every meal so this is going to help with that um i've also been able to tolerate meat most meat so i've been chewing it to the point of no end my doctor also told me that I can have tofu, so I'm going to try to incorporate more tofu, less meat, just so that I'm not adding hormones to a situation that's already very hormonal. Hey guys, it's um, October 31st, uh, which means that it's been almost a month since my surgery. My surgery was October 4th, um, and this is going to be a part of the one month video update. But I just wanted to come and say that it is a journey, not a race, and that you have to do what's best for you. So if, you're, if, if you found yourself in support groups and things like that, 
and you find yourself kind of comparing yourself to the other girls in the support group you feel like you're not losing enough weight all that kind of stuff I want to encourage you to block out all the negative and focus on the positive have you lost any weight at all since you started this journey do you feel better do you feel like you look better how's your body healing are you able to tolerate certain foods all of those things are important at this time if you can help it do not get down on yourself do not start thinking about the shoulda coulda wouldas or the regrets I had a wedding and a birthday party, actually a wedding, a birthday party, and my mother's birthday um, all this week, and I did the best that I could. I ate what I could, and I stopped eating when I couldn't eat anymore. I drank what I could. I stopped drinking when I couldn't drink anymore, and I woke up this morning, and I looked at my body, and I was like, I still look like I'm losing weight, and if all I lose is inches, I'll still be happy. You know what I mean? And so you have to just think about what your goals were for yourself when you started this journey. Do not focus on what you're seeing everyone else go through. And that is all I have to say about that. Hey okay, guys, so it only took like three weeks, but um, my doctor finally got back to me about my skin that was peeling. Apparently, the peeling that was happening under my breast was from the adhesive. They put a heating pad, I think he said, to control my body temperature while in surgery and the adhesive is placed under my breast and so he said that that's most likely why i was experiencing um some irritation but it should go away and there should be nothing to worry about and then, of course it did go away the dry skin hasn't gone away though like well actually it's starting to a little bit i've been like exfoliating trying to get it all off um so it is going away a little bit as well that he said is just dehydration so hey so i'm really bumming it right now but i wanted to just um give you guys an update um by the time i upload this it will be the one month versary <laughs> um it'll be the one month mark post-op and um i just really wanted to just go over what happened at the doctor's office she checked so i i had my I had my follow-up with the surgeon, which we talked about. Now I'm having my... Today I had my follow-up with my primary care physician. She just checked the um, incision spots to make sure they're healing properly. Um, you know, she asked me about how everything is going. I told her everything is pretty much at a standstill right now. Not in terms of weight loss, but in terms of kind of what I'm doing to promote the weight loss. Um, eating the foods the nutritionist is telling me to eat. I'm following the plans. Four ounces of food per meal, three meals per day. Um, most days I don't even get the four ounces in per meal. I try to get in as many as I can. I try not to graze, but I have been known to graze. Snack on this, snack on that. Hour later, snack on this, snack on that. Five hours later, snack on this, snack on that. Um, but that's just um, because when I am eating, I'm eating such a little bit that like I'm hungry. Like my body is still processing the food pretty fast, which I think is good that my metabolism is moving. So um, I'm down. So for my highest weight, which was 326, I am down 34 pounds. I'm 292 at the one month mark. Um my next weigh-in probably won't be for a while i probably won't weigh myself again until like december um and that's just because that's my next like doctor's appointment with my surgeon um my cardiologist may he may weigh me um we'll see no, i'm sorry he's not the cardiologist he's the pulmonologist. well he's he's a cardiologist but he's my pulmonologist um he may weigh me he probably will because he knows I just had surgery. So he'll weigh me and maybe I'll tell you guys that update as well. But if not, this is where we're at. <laughs> I'm extremely exhausted. I had the flu shot yesterday and then I spent about seven hours. After being at two doctor's appointments, I spent about seven hours at my car's service center um, just getting a diagnostic report on what's wrong with my car and there are a million things wrong with my car according to them so I'm going to bring it to my actual um, mechanic either today or tomorrow and get that issue resolved so I can go on about my life and not be a slave to my mother's schedule because we are sharing a vehicle 
<laughs> and um yeah i would like to you know i have the day off i would like to enjoy the day off but i can't because car issues so i'm just trying to get everything together i probably look and sound exhausted but i wanted to make sure that i gave you guys the proper update um on my one month journey i've been documenting all along so you'll see them all in this video but here we are one month post-op and i'm feeling good and looking good if i can lose another 30 pounds this month i will be a happy 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 camper and we're just gonna keep it going so thanks for watching guys bye